here I'm looking at the Google Trends page for TrackTrain versus Airbit versus BeatStars. We can tell just by looking at this that BeatStars just has way more search volume. How is BeatStars getting all of this traffic? It's another BeatStars video for all the beat producers who have subscribed to this channel. Welcome, we got another video for you all, as well as people who are new to the channel. I do have a Beats I do have a Beats promo code, it's T Antonio, and it's linked as well as pinned in the comment below. If you want a free month of Beats Stars Pro, you can use my link. Thank you for the support, by the way, if you do do that. I do wanna say all the music in this video is produced by subscribers to this channel, so I've linked everyone below. If you liked any of the music, go support these producers thank you for the subscriptions by the way everyone who subs to the channel appreciate it but this video is about beat stars in comparison to airbit in comparison to track train so i wanted to take a moment for us to talk about the different platforms and how you can frame the best places to be selling your beats in short the most important thing is getting eyeballs or earballs <laughs> is getting ears, uh, people who are shopping to listen to your beats. And the amount of people it takes for you to play your beats for, or for people to listen to you and your music before someone buys it, that's referred to as the conversion rate. So if you have 100 people who listen and your conversion rate is 1%, that means one person will actually make a purchase. And your conversion rate is gonna depend on a, a ton of different stuff. It, the style, how you sort of label the metadata, maybe even what the, the art looks like on the beat, the quality of the beat. But in this video, again, we're just gonna talk about where you upload the beat and the sheer volume of traffic that that platform is getting. These are not platforms that people just casually go to just because they're in the mood to like listen to music. If you go to one of these platforms, you're most likely looking for a beat to buy. You are like in a purchasing mood. So that's why I focus the video on these specific platforms. And I would also encourage you all as producers to focus on these platforms as well, because if you're talking about actually making money, going to the place where people are in the mood to buy is, is the lowest of low hanging fruit. It's way easier to convince someone who already wants, who's already decided that they're gonna buy something to buy your thing versus someone who's just listening to music and not necessarily in the mood to buy to convince them to buy your stuff. It's way harder to do that. Here I'm looking at the Google Trends page for TrackTrain versus Airbit versus BeatStars. And part of the question I have is, how is BeatStars getting all of this traffic? Um, I do think that there's a lot of producers linking back their stores to BeatStars. But also, we can tell just by looking at this that BeatStars just has way more search volume. So people are just searching on Google for BeatStars way more than the other two platforms. But I did a little bit more digging just because I found I find this stuff really curious. Um, I found it really interesting that BeatStars is, well, this isn't interesting, this is sort of expected. BeatStars is most searched in Georgia. But second to that, I did find it interesting that Nevada, of all places, is where it's second strongest. And then if you compare that to TrackTrain, TrackTrain also is pretty popular in Georgia, but uh, kind of unexpectedly, it's more popular in Maryland. And then finally, we also have Airbit being searched pretty heavily in Maryland. So I don't know what's going on in the producer slash rapper communities. Well, obviously trap in Atlanta, but like that's, that's the most obvious thing is that Atlanta is gonna be heavily searching for this. But I'm not sure what's going on in Maryland. I mean, it makes me very curious. Maryland, Nevada, I don't know. Maybe there's some cool producer hip hop like rap stuff happening uh, communities there that I don't know about right now or that I don't particularly know about. But huge but, there's something else actually. If you flip this over to world traffic, the picture comes becomes a little bit more clear. 
and you can see Airbit actually jumps to the top. And this is gonna be obvious as soon as I scroll down. The reason why is that Airbit apparently is wildly popular in South America, and I just did not expect that. So really, BeatStars has North America locked down as well as Argentina, Australia, Russia, and basically all of Europe and all of the uh, all of Eastern Europe and South Africa. But if you are in South America, Mexico, uh, and south of Mexico, or if you are in Saudi Arabia, Airbit might be the better platform for you present day. This may turn out turn out to be a more regional thing, which. I guess it's kind of cool. I like that there's some competition. I like that there's some challenge happening between the two platforms and that at the end of the day, beat producers and rappers who are purchasing beats get options. They have some options here, but it looks like, especially if you're in the US, BeatStars is an absolute must. Use code TAntonio if you want to open your store. Appreciate the support and you get a free month of BeatStars Pro. So on my Google Chrome, I have this app installed called similar web and similar web is a app that will show the traffic to a specific website uh, over the course of a month so if we're going to look at track train right here we'll say track train so track train pulls in 340,000 visits to the website every month and this is a really good way to measure how popular one platform is versus the other. So let's take a look now. We've got the 340,000 from TrackTrain. Airbit has a little bit more, 512,000 monthly visits. BeatStars has 3.5 million monthly views. It's literally 10 times the amount of traffic that TrackTrain is getting and almost 10 times the traffic that Airbit gets. From a just sheer traffic standpoint, the odds are in your favor on BeatStars. That is immediately what I would say. It is a better marketplace. I think there was a car accident outside. Uh, maybe not. So the way that this works is that since there's so many more people going to BeatStars, there's way more people looking to purchase. Again, people in that buying mood on BeatStars. And then in addition to that, people are going to penetrate further into the website. There's more discovery happening, more searching happening within the platform. There's just more people searching for whatever type beat that you may have produced. There's just more people doing searches on BeatStars than there are on any of the other platforms. So that's a huge win for BeatStars. But I also found something really interesting that maybe you might want to mix up your your platforms because of. So part of the challenge that comes with these types of marketplaces in the tech world is is it's a well-known issue. We call it a two-sided marketplace. And some of the most it's it's a chicken and egg situation with with uh, two-sided marketplaces because you need both the person who is the producer to be on your platform, but they won't join your platform unless they have rappers who are gonna buy. And the rappers who are gonna buy are not gonna be on your platform doing searches and purchasing unless there's really good producers there. So you have to have both at the same time. And you have to get really creative to solve this problem. Most famously, or a couple of the most famous examples of this problem being solved is Airbnb. They had a huge issue with this. They, the people who are putting their homes up on Airbnb um, were sh they were short they didn't want to do that they didn't want to put in the effort so the the founders of Airbnb went and took the photos of the units themselves and managed the pages for those units themselves for a while to get the thing going the other really famous example is reddit when reddit was originally founded there was no one going there no one cared and the founders actually posted all their own fake content on Reddit to get people interested in Reddit to then get the flywheel going. So it's a really tough problem and I think BeatStars and Airbit and TrackTrain are all going through this right now. How can we get the best producers with the best content promoting our platform 
and then attract the rappers. So, or the artists, I should say, really. Um, so it looks like BeatStars is just pulling ahead here. I'm thinking about making another video around what, how to find the best type beats to produce or to label, like literally what artists should you use as inspiration for your type beats in order to get the most clicks, in order to get the most purchases. That's one topic I do wanna do some research on and learn more about and then share with you all. But I really do wanna hear from you. If you're watching this video, you probably have some other questions around producing uh, in terms of selling your work that I, I'd like to know what your what questions are you even asking? And I'll do my best to make videos that relate to that or help you with that. So go to the comments right now and ask me some questions. I may not have the answers right off the top, but I will find them. And again, code T Antonio on BeatStars. I appreciate you all and I'll see you in the next video.